Right, welcome back. Last time, well... We're getting to the point where it's uh, pretty close to time to embrace scientific methods. Honestly, I'm juggling between the fact that I need to save money. On the other hand, I don't want to spend too many monarch points, especially since global trade is going to take forever to appear, because the AI... Well, isn't exactly good at building up trade value. <laughs> oh well. Better put, isn't great at doing that. You need to have five different continents. And of course, th certain continents are split up anyway. Like Asia is made up of, I think, five continents, and Africa is made up of two. But yeah, you need five continents with with you or a colonial subject owning a province of trade value two or higher. So, yeah, this is difficult to obtain even for a colonial country. Thankfully, as long as no one gets it, as long as no one starts it up, no one's going to get it anyway, so it does not actually affect tech development that much. It's not relative. Still kind of slow it down, though. I also need to start getting ready for academia because tech level 46 is in 50 years or so. Thankfully, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, that's assuming tech level 46. I think it might actually be from the previous because um, they added a few tech levels. In the jump from 1.30 to 1.32. So. That might be old. Could very well just be 1710. I don't know. Nationalism is going to be difficult. Unless I start really expanding in northern Germany. On the other hand, 1740. That's 100 years from now. Who knows how far that goes. And then industrialization. Yeah. But that ain't scientific method anyway, so... Hmm. Also, I'm at war with the Emperor because Hesse wanted to go after Worms. I'm not sure if Worms even is a core province. Probably not. Nope, just a claim. Lovely. Funding your wars of conquest, aren't I? Maybe not funding. Perhaps fueling would be better put. Yay! 10,000 casualties among the military. from sieging, wasn't it? Yeah, let's have a case of claim on that, and, uh, in hopes that it won't just disappear anytime soon. Oh, even with all of this. Oh! They're no longer allied with Bohemia! I'm not sure why that occurred, but now that's that's the case. I can swoop right in. Excellent. And no one has any aggressive expansion anyway, so I can just go ahead and quickly obtain it. Right. I don't need the spy network in the Commonwealth anymore, that's for sure. My focus will be on these two provinces, at least with conquest. I don't need this province, though, but it would be much easier if I just set it as the target, because that is much easier to reach and take out. Probably gonna leave it there just for ease of reach. 
Uh, Sweden's busy. I can see that. No, that's what starts swapping over favors. SA has already been maxed out. Has already is maxed out. Has been maxed out. Hopefully, they're willing to actually fight in the war. I don't think they have that much debt, though. Okay, Grand Old for Grand Village. Income's doing great. I could use less corruption, but uh, that's not something I can actually handle properly. Drop off some industrial. Some residents. are fully occupied. Or, you know, already. Okay. Yeah, I want to get out of this war quick. Because this, there's almost certainly going to be another war soon with Denmark-Norway. Either because I started, or Sweden drags me in. <laughs> yeah, let's grab a bit of cash too. Alright, now they're in my vassal state. And now I'm going to have to deal with a 70% liberty <laughs> Well, that's going to take a while. Curse looks fires. Yep, okay. I'm going to have to handle that. It's going to drain most of my treasury. And I don't think it will be enough for this thing. Actually, wait. Do I know? I need to be able to find something with knowledge sharing. <laughs> but are you still getting knowledge sharing from that? <laughs> Okay, so it's a plus point two base. Right? Wait, I should double check that. Knowledge sharing, yes. Because of how high my spread is, this will this will more than double this. Which will more than half the time it requires. It takes approximately thirteen years. Spread to here I don't think it's actually worth the cost. That honestly isn't that surprising. Uh, Vagrian. Vagrian. 
Huh. And two years would already not be worth the cost. Because uh, it's the only province that would honestly matter for that. No. No, thank you. Cost too much, and really isn't worth it. just isn't. And wait a second, why is there unrest again? Do we really need... Did it do the poll tax again? It did the poll tax again, didn't it? Yep. Okay. Right. Time to fix that. Also, there's something here. I wonder what that is. Oh, support for the government. Oh. The poll tax is fine inside, you know, provinces like the capital province, where... It's not really a problem. Other provinces where it actually becomes a something of an issue. What's the higher learning industry doing here anyway? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I think we need more literates. <laughs> of course, the only way to get that is for more urbanites to move in. Anyway, the truce is up. Sweden is, of course, happy to help. Sadly, I've lost most of the claims, but, well, it's fine. Yeah, that part of the is extremely important. Still have five points of tech lead, though. It was they did grab the levels that are extremely important. So, yeah, I think it would be best if I went ahead and except it would destabilize Hesse. Why do they have truce with? No, they don't. Perhaps it's too many wars at once. Yeah. Best judgment. I mean, I haven't really even... Actually... A reconquest Castles Valley is probably a smart idea. Oh. 7th of February. Okay. Come on, Sweden. Let's go. I highly doubt the Danish Navy can actually become a threat. Seven ships. Okay, so six of them are here. The seventh is probably a light ship. Yeah. It's three galleys. My five light ships should be able to find... Them. Yeah, there's one of their ships. Yep. As I figured, light ship. Right. Let's reclaim these provinces, these HRE provinces. And maybe take a bit of judgment. I don't really expect to take much, though. Vassalizing Pomerania was... Well, subjugating Pomerania was quite a bit. To be perfectly honest. 
It's going to take some time for that to decay anyway. And of course, I forget to deal with the factional stuff. How much influence do the bureaucrats have? Third. Okay, so now if I were to boost the, the faction, they should definitely have more than 40 influence, right? They have 48. Excellent. And that opens up new reforms, specifically these two. This one isn't so great. It does reduce perpetual corruption, but it has a lot of loyalty costs. This one doesn't actually cost any loyalty, it just reduces relations by a lot. Which might have some odd effects on their loyalty drift, but... It increases the influence of the bureaucrats, which will help with future reforms, and reduces state corruption, and helps with stability. So yeah, depoliticizing the hire of officials is helpful. Unnecessary, but helpful. Now, if only could get 65 executive authority. Thankfully, the ruler will uh, change in about three years. No, November 1608 to be precise. So something should be easier. Anyway. Right, siege down the province, and... Yeah. Well, let's actually check. The peace deal. Okay, that would be bad. That would be too much territory gained. Or I could just leave Jutland for later. And instead, focus on doing other things. And instead of doing this, we do a return. I believe does the exact same amount of war score, but would also remove their cores. Force religion. <laughs> I think humiliation would be far more fun. Prestige. That's too much. Okay. Some cash? I can't demand much. Okay. Yeah, why not? I get most of what I want. It's not much territory, but it's certainly a good bit of soft power, soft gains. Prestige, a heck of a lot of money, and quite a bit of power projection. Thirty power projection. Yep. That much will get me some boosts for quite a while. need to improve relations with Pomerania again. They do enjoy the returned provinces, though. That will be a major boost for a long while. <laughs> and should they should have zero, zero trouble with Liberty Desire for a long while. Of course, improving relations will continue to help with that.
interesting. We're both naive. Bit early for that, perhaps, but oh well. I remember the Antilles in my Maya game. Heck, I can even see the stuff here. Right, I think this is a good point to stop. I believe I need to restart the grain, though. Yes, I do. Okay, full grain provision. There we go. We're back up to three stability again. That solves all of my unrest issues. For now. So! Um, Hesse ended up at the end of the war. I now, well, conquered worms. Yay. I mean, it is Hessian culture, so... <laughs> However, I also found an opportunity to go after Pomerania. They were no longer allied to Bohemia, because Bohemia did not help the Emperor. In their external wars, I was fighting in an internal one, so it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, so managed to so I declare war on Hesse, and then realized I could actually vassalize them without too much trouble. And I also went ahead and went to war with Denmark Norway again, this time of my own accord rather than getting tracked in by Sweden, specifically to get these two provinces back. I still had a lot of aggressive expansion though, but I figured it would be better just to leave the well conquest of the Jutland provinces for later. It's going to take a bunch of power projection, war reps. I'm getting a ducat a month from war reps. It's great. Plus, it also means that Pomerania is much more amenable to my rule, at least for a while. Province return takes a while to disappear, anyway. Both uh, me and. Well, yeah, both when it comes to opinion, as well as when it comes to liberty desire effects. As time goes on, they'll become more amenable to my rule, in general. Just give it some time. They're also slowly starting to obtain casual literacy, in fact. It's going to arrive next month in their capital province, and I'm going to get a little bit more later. In fact, it will help with some spread, too. But not by a huge amount. Just give it some time. It also means I've completed the Mecklenburg mission, though I'm not going to claim the prize yet. It's probably best left for later. When I need mill points. So at the moment, I don't think that's ever going to come up. Sadly. Enough. There's also the thing with institution. My institution embracement cost is... Knowledge output plus 10%, minus 5%. I think there was a miswriting some of the information. But yeah. Um, the question is, when do I embrace scientific methods? Because Vagrian is about to obtain it. Lupex? Oh, Lupex's going to get it soon. Okay. Um, and I figure, yeah, it's probably for the best. If I just wait. I mean, Lupex is 20 ducats, and I highly doubt that the decrease in autonomy that I'm probably going to get is going to affect it by much. It doesn't matter in this province, but this province is probably the biggest one. So it depends on... Uh... Yeah. Because decreasing autonomy also means that more develop more relative development for the purposes of institution embracement costs, which means it costs more money. But I think getting Lubeck would be en enough to make up for it. Although there is also the producing prestige, which slightly reduces institution embracement cost. Though I think the effect of for three years is going to be like a tenth of a percent. Maybe two tenths. Closer to two tenths, honestly. Assuming that, well, actually, 
Prestige works on a resting point mechanic even more so than anything else. It does so by its nature. <laughs> so, even in the base game. I could calculate how long it takes for them to back. Let's say 0.53 per month. We've got 38 left, approximately. If we assume 0.5 per month, that's going to take, well, 38 times 2. It's probably going to take less time, though, because it's 0.36, and then there's that there's that little 0.03, which is probably enough to make it, to shave off at least one month, possibly two or three. So, as I said, 38. Well, yeah. The thing is, it's 0.5 per month, so double it. So, that would be 76. Oh, wait, that's property. I'm looking at this one. Okay. This is the one I actually want to look at. Okay, so it's 14. Let's just leave it at 14. Double that, 28. Yeah, it's easily, easily. Because there's 12 months in a year, and it's 36 months until 1610, so... Levesque will easily, easily get it before them. I can't really handle other provinces because, well... Lunenburg just got casual literacy. Etched if it's going to take a while, for example. Also, because I'm a subject, I now have the uh, Mathlow Integration <laughs> Objective. I don't have any Diplo, other Diplo policies. Maybe desire is low. Um, apparently annexation will have to wait until 1614. I'm also going to need a plus 100 relations. I can only do improved relations for 9 more, but I'm also getting 11.4 per year, thanks to the decay of various opinion modifiers. Though some will disappear sooner rather than later. Declared War Neighbor, for example, will disappear within 5 years. No, if it remains consistent, I'd say five years would be long enough to get it to a hundred. Though it doesn't really matter until 1614. Oh, wait, no, that's Annex that has been your vassal for ten years, 1614. The integration process apparently will take 40 years. 1647, huh? Okay, so... Integration rate modifiers modified by Liberty Desire, Opinion of Overlord, as well as Diplomatic Annexation Cost and the Vassal Integration Act. It's also the base modifier, which is negative fifty percent to the slight government difference. As well as a plus seven point five percent because of overlord diplomats. Pro I'm not sure if that's the number of diplomats I have, or the fact that I have someone said to improve relations with them. So that's going to take a while regardless. And then there's tech, well, scientific methods, yeah, that plus 15% will disappear, so I don't have to worry for uh, 60 diplo points. Well, 60 points for the next tech, but 30 is global trade. It has not arrived anywhere, as far as I can tell. Though meritocracy is beginning to spread into your it's taking a long... it's taking its damn time to do that, because the Ottomans are busy doing other stuff. Basically spreading, sharing knowledge with Trebizond. Because they can't do it themselves, apparently. Oh, it's because they're trying to spread commercialization. But Trebizond does not have the laws for it, so they'll continue doing so. So the Ottomans are basically wasting their money. Uh, on the topic of potential alliance with the Ottoman Empire, I honestly could. I could. It would take a lot of effort. I would have to bring the relations up by a lot and hope that they change their attitude towards me. Maybe increase the size of my army. But they would be will They might be willing to ally with enough effort, and that would be an excellent, excellent source of protection. Keep me safe from even the. Well, France or Spain. 
Okay, I could, well, okay, maybe not use it to beat up Bohemia because they're allied with the Ottoman Empire as well, but use them to beat up the Commonwealth. Just not the Golden Horde, because the Golden Horde is... Yeah. 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 Look at that troop count. They have 90,000 in their army. The Ottomans have 64. I think the Mamluks have less. Yeah, they have less than 30k. France is sitting on 25 for some reason. The one of those subjects has 22. Jeez. I think that's the largest subject. Yeah. Armana. There's also Cominges with 7. Bar with 1. Okay, that's not much at all. Valentoy with 2. So their total quantity still is less than the Ottoman Empire on its own. They also have Naples with 5k. Trebizond, which doesn't have a standing army for some reason. Not an Ottoman army at all. They do have 14k, so they probably would have 7 or 8 if they were to actually bother. Pretty lack of money. Anyway, yeah, as I said, I've gone on long enough. <laughs> oh, there is one last thing. I also did a bureaucratic politicization reform to move to the spoil system, to reduce state corruption, increase the bureaucratic influence, and reduce stability, well, improve stability. Which is why my bureaucrats are at 51 influence. It's nice. <laughs> Plus they're one of the more loyal factions at the moment, so, yeah, especially if I were to do a reform. In fact, I'm in prime position in order to get free peasantry. This would be amazing. Plus 10% roll production would so, so increase the strength of my own economy. Because as with anything, well, in this time period, almost everything, almost everything was agricultural. I mean, sure, Dithmarschen itself has a province, has a, honestly a larger... Honestly, probably is more urban than anything, though it's not Paris levels. I think Paris might actually have a larger... Yeah, they have a larger resident population than they do rural population. But Dithmarschen is a small city in its own right. Very oh, well. The city of Hyde. Yeah. Anyway, that is for... That is long enough. Okay. I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye.